welcome back boys and girls how are you doing um i know you're still in online classes how is that going by the way hope it's not too tough you know what you are going back to school very very soon we are praying and remember god is good and he answers our prayers so believe it boys and girls you will soon go back to school to all your friends, to see your teachers, you know, to be able to run around in the yard. That's what we are praying for. And I believe God, and I want you to believe with me that you're going back very soon. Now, today in the Solid Rock Children's Church, we have a lineup of activities for you to keep you busy at the weekend, you know, to give you something fun to do. So we have the worship, we're going to have the memory verse, we're going to have the quiz and our lesson. I remember we always have the very interesting assignment at the end of the program. So boys and girls, I need you to sit down. I need you to pay attention and participate in everything. Okay. God bless you. And I'll see you at the lesson. And now let's go into a time of worship. What you got right now, you can raise your hands, you can wave. You can wave it to Jesus. He's the Most High. He's the Son of God. And He sits upon the throne. You know Him. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I want you to wave your hands to Jesus. Come on, somebody. Like this. Side to side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted high. The Son of God is lifted Oh, the Son of God is lifted higher oh, oh. The Son of God is lifted high The Son of God is
one more time, here it is, Lord. Here's my worship, all of my, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my, yeah, all of my worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love for us. Hey friends, so we've got a long memory verse today. It's from Genesis chapter 25 verses 29 to 33. And it says, Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, Issa came in from the open country famished. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of that red stew. I am famished. That is why he was also called Adam. Jacob replied, First, sell me your bat right. Look, I'm about to die. Esau said, What good is the bat right to me? But Jacob said, Swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, selling his bat right to Jacob. And that's our memory verse for today. Have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. For many years, Isaac's wife, Rebecca, couldn't have babies. So Isaac prayed to God about the problem. God heard Isaac, and he sent two babies, twins. When the twins were born, one was all red and fuzzy. Isaac and Rebecca named him Esau. The other twin had smooth skin. They named him Jacob. Someday, these two boys would grow up to be the leaders of two great families. And the boys did grow up. One day, Esau came in from hunting. Jacob was cooking. I'm hungry. Give me some of that soup. Jacob was a sneaky guy. Give me your rights as the firstborn son and I will. <laughs> okay, if I starve, my rights won't help me. So Jacob gave Esau a big bowl of soup and he ate it. Esau didn't even know he'd been tricked. Years later, Jacob's mother, Rebecca, helped him trick his father, Isaac, as well. And Isaac gave Jacob the blessing meant for Esau. So Isaac gave everything he had to Jacob, while foolish Esau got nothing. Welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, how did you find that lesson? Did you enjoy the story? So, if you remember, last week we learned about Isaac. So this is a continuation. So now Isaac, as you know, you know already have children. He has twin boys. And the first one was Esau. The second was Jacob. And this story actually is teaching me that and I hope that's what it's teaching you there are a lot of things you can learn from this story 
But what stands out for me is that, you know, any little compromise, those little lies, you know, we call it little lies, any lie is a lie, or anything that is making us deny God or deny, you know, our identity, who we are as children of God. You know when you are with, with your friends and they are doing things and you know that you are not supposed to be doing those things. You know, make sure you stand your ground, boys and girls. Because most of the time, what the devil wants to do is not just that little, you know, compromise. It's, it's always something bigger. Remember, Esau, through giving, you know, just getting, he was hungry and then the brother gave him something to eat and he said, you know what, just deny your birthright. Deny that you are the first child. That, that little thing stood against him in, in you know in his dest in, in his future the blessings that he was supposed to receive from Isaac you know when the dad was passing because of that you know that little compromise that time when he gave back uh, when he actually gave his birthright to his brother stood against him it stood against him and guess what who received all the blessings Jacob did. So boys and girls, this is telling us that we have to know who we are. And wherever we find ourselves, we cannot compromise. Because the devil does not use only that little compromise, but he's, he's going to stand, you know, and use it against us in, in, a, you know, in the bigger plan that God has for us. And I pray in Jesus' name, boys and girls, that the Lord will help you, that wherever you are, you will be the light. You will be the light as the Lord, you know, has designed it in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, boys and girls, and I will see you very, very soon. Hello, hello, friends. How are you doing? So it's quiz time here again, and we've got some questions for you. Brace yourself, get ready, as we go straight right into it. So first question: Isaac and Rebecca prayed for children. What was special about Jacob and Esau when they were born? A. They were both blonde with blue eyes. B. They were twins but looked completely different. C. They were five years apart. D. They were identical twins. And if you said B, then you are correct. They were twins, but they looked completely different. Next question. Esau was the firstborn, which meant he would get everything his father had when his father died. What did he sell his inheritance to Jacob for? A. A bowl of food. B. A girlfriend. C. A buried treasure. D. A hunting trophy. And if you answered A, you are correct. Esau sold his inheritance for a bowl of food. Next question. When Jacob's father was about to die, he told Esau to do something special before he blessed him. What did Jacob and his mother do while Esau was hunting? A. They pouted about how Esau was always the favorite son. B. Jacob's mother told his father to bless Jacob instead. See, they went out to help Esau find the perfect day. D. His mother fixed a meal and dressed Jacob up in a goat skin. And if you answered D, then you are correct. His mother fixed a meal and dressed Jacob up in goat skin. Next question. Esau was very angry when Jacob received the blessing. What did he promise to do to Jacob that caused Jacob to run away? A. He promised to kill him. B. He promised to make him go to college and do homework. C. He promised to beat him up. D, he promised he would hurt their father. And if you answered A, then you are correct. He promised to kill him. Next question. 
Jacob ran away to his uncle Laban, Laban's house. What job did he do for his uncle? A. He became a tax collector. B. He became a doctor. C. He became a shepherd. D. He became the family teacher. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Jacob became a shepherd for his uncle Laban. Yeah, and that's it for the quiz today. Now we go to the home quiz where you answer the questions and send to us to the emails displayed on the screen. So let's get straight right into it. First question. Jacob's uncle was kind but very dishonest. Jacob married two wives because his uncle tricked him. A. True. B. False. Next question. Jacob decided to leave his uncle's place when his wife Rachel had her first baby. What did Jacob name this son because God had made him fruitful? What did Jacob name this son because God had made him fruitful? A. Judah. B. Reuben. C. Joseph. D. Simeon. Next question. Jacob heard that his brother Esau was coming to meet him. What did Jacob do with his family? A. He blessed them and told them they may not see each other again. B. He separated them in case something bad happened. C. He gathered together. He gathered them together and told them to make a feast for his brother. D. He pulled out his family photo albums and showed them his brother's pictures. Next question. The night before Esau arrived, Jacob wrestled with an angel. What did Jacob want the angel to do for him? A. He wanted the angel to give him good health. B. He wanted the angel to protect his family. C. He wanted the angel to bless him. D. He wanted the angel to give him money. And the last question. Although Jacob was scared at what would happen when his brother, when he saw his brother, he went out to meet Esau. What happened when Esau came to his brother Jacob? A. He gave Jacob a great big hug. B. He reminded Jacob that he had sinned. C. He challenged Jacob to a fight. D. He told Jacob goodbye and that he never wanted to see him again. If you have the correct answers, put them in an email, send them to church email, which is kidszone at solidrockdublin.org.
but I will establish my covenant with you. To do something like you that our father that God, God is all knowing, that means He knows everything. He went he knows ahead, everything and he, he knows, knows tomorrow. And art. Like, I'm so silly, like you're, you're so silly now, like you're so guess what? You know, you're you're not just all of this.